We begin in the lightweight division. This battle-tested veteran of the desert heat of Arizona is a lifelong Muay Thai artist and ready to take his next step in his professional career. Please welcome Nick Chastine. There is Nick Chastine. Got the call. Hey, do you want to fight in glory? You'll square off against Elvis Gashi. He said, let me watch some tape of this guy. Watched 30 seconds and said, yeah, I'll take the fight and I'll win it too. Yeah, he's got a very well-rounded style and he does have some high-profile Muay Thai fights. So he's going to bring that confidence in there. He knows that Gashi's really powerful. So in my mind, he's going to be trying to use that Muay Thai base to try to shut down Gashi. But overall, very talented, tall style very smart and calculated. His last fight was at 145 pounds, said he felt completely drained and weak. Now he feels a little more comfortable at 154 and hopes to show it tonight here at Madison Square Garden. This four-time Kosovo national champion is coming off yet another glory win at Glory 54 in Birmingham, England. Here is Elvis Gashi. He fights with a ferocious style rarely seen in glory kickboxing. Once the bell rings, he's in all-out attack mode. Whether it goes one round or three, he only knows one way to fight, Joe. Yeah, he's a power style southpaw. No surprise what he's going to do. People think they have an answer to it, but when they feel his power, things change. He's going to come forward, look for that left hand, and a lot of good solid low kicks. Believe it or not, he once played semi-pro basketball in Kosovo, was the point guard at five foot eight inches tall, said he was always thinking, thinking two steps ahead of his opponent, tries to employ that same high ring IQ in the glory ring. Well, you don't think smarts when you think Elvis, you think power. The International Champions Cup, sponsored by Heineken, is coming your way Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Bayern Munich taking on PSG. That's on ESPN2 Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, streaming live on the ESPN app. Here's our tale of the tape from this lightweight battle. Elvis Gashi and Nick Chastain. Gashi 25, Chastain 29. Chastain much taller and much longer, Joe. And when it comes to professional experience, it's Gashi with the edge. Undefeated 100%, Chastain with 13 fights. But what's impressive too is Gashi's 107 wins and three losses as an amateur. Glory rules, three rounds, three minutes each. You got no time to play around, ladies and gentlemen. You can't feel out your opponent. You gotta go right after it. Punches, kicks, knees are legal. Three knockdowns in a round, four in the fight, and it's a TKO. And tonight at Madison Square Garden, three judges will be scoring the belt using the 10-point must system. Scoring is based on knockdowns, damage, clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques, followed by normal techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges are looking for aggression. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He is an intercontinental, tri-state, and western regional Muay Thai champion. His professional record, eight wins with five losses. Three of those wins coming by way of knockout. He makes his Glory debut tonight. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at fight time officially at 153.8 pounds, 69.8 kilos. He fights tonight out of Phoenix, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Nick, the golden boy, Chastine. His opponent standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner, an IKF US national champion putting his unblemished record on the line. As a professional, perfect. 21 fights, 21 wins, and 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. 
He stands five feet nine inches tall, 1.75 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 151.2 pounds, 68.6 kilos. Fighting out of the Bronx, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is Super Elvis Gashi. And your referee for this bout, Big Dan Mergliata. Hi, hey, gentlemen. Good luck to both of you. It's been my commands all the time. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Good luck. Back to your corners. What does Nick Chastain have to do to survive at least round one against Elvis Gashi? Well, he's uh, going to have to stay long, and I Let's want go. to see Box. him use his Muay Thai base, long kick on the outside, and keep circling away from that left side power of Gashi. We're scheduled for three rounds. Gashi in the white gloves, Chastain in the black. Chastain referred to Gashi as a very simple fighter, very basic. Yeah, basic but effective, right? The basics work. So Chastain already looking for his kicks on the outside. that forward pressure to get inside that, that long reach and those long kicks. Elvis Gashi with three glory fights, three wins. His last opponent, William Goldie Galloway over in England, somehow lasted the whole three rounds. But not really any problems there for Gashi. So ready you see Chatstein looking for his knees as he stay long with the outside kick. As Gashi rushes in with his hands, he's got his knees waiting. She fighting out of the southpaw stance. He's already beaten the fifth ranked fighter in this division, Josh Chauncey. And he's going to win tonight. He either gets a title shot or gets somebody in the top four or five. Break! Nice and clean, nice and clean, guys. Hands up, hands up. Calm before the storm here. Skashi waiting to unload. Nice high kick. Kicks when you think of Gashi. He's got that left kick that'll change direction. It'll go to the legs, body. Had a chance to visit with Gashi. He took me to Little Albania in New York City, and they loved him there. Everywhere we went, someone getting an autograph or a picture. Oh, he brought out an Albanian flag. We got free food. I don't think I had it, Very protein heavy, I'll tell you that. But very good. Punch out, punch out. Right. Clean, nice and clean. Under a minute to go here in round one. Gashi loaded up with that left missile. Chastain nicknamed the Golden Boy. Chastain doesn't want to stay against the ropes. He needs to keep moving. Chastain said the only thing he was worried about is if he gets caught with a big shot by Gashi, he says, I can't afford to get to a brawl. I've got to compose myself, step back on the outside, and do what I do. So far, he's using the right strategy. Oh, left hand knocked Chastain off balance. Yeah, you know that left power shot's coming. Can you stop him is the question. Chastain went to fire right back. Oh, and he caught him with the right. Good shot there from Nick. Break! Separate. Break! Quick three minutes between Nick Chastain and Elvis Super Gashi. Gashi, of course, undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. 21-0 with 10 knockouts, 3-0 here in glory. And what a, what a fantastic amateur record, 107-3. And, and Joe, he's always wanted to fight for glory. With that type of amateur experience and his undefeated pro record, a lot of organizations wanted to sign him. He said, yeah. no, I want to be a glory fighter, and here he is. Yeah, he held off for it, which is a smart move. And here, Chastain has that opportunity. He began karate. When he was young, moved to kickboxing at age nine, and he comes from a family of fighters. His father, his two brothers and sisters are all fighters as well. And that's his brother Damien in his ear right now. He fights professionally. His sister earned a state kickboxing championship. The lovely Alyssa, one of our beautiful golden, gir or, 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 golden girls. He's the golden boy, she's a glory girl. And we're getting ready for round two. Elvis Gashi straight away with a high kick. Elvis Gashi has a very experienced corner in Primo Bellarosa. So they train him really well. Very strong, very powerful. Good basic southpaw power strategy. Of course, the Golden Girls, your favorite. 
comedy show growing up there. Thank you for being a friend, Joe. Long kicking again from Chastain. Oh, and another high kick. Chastain was ready for it and says, come on. Yeah, he keeps calling him on. <laughs> Trying to attack that back leg of Josh, which is the furthest away, so he's got to really close that distance to hit that back leg. Counter low kick. Yeah, he keeps finding it, though. Right. Off the Gosh, he came over to America in 2012 for the Kosovo national kickboxing team. Decided just to stay in the United States and fulfill his dream of being a professional. Good decision by him, too. Oh, and a right hand connected there for Chastain. Yeah, good, good hit in that exchange. And he had a good exit strategy as well. Yep. Trying to exit out, hit and move, stay long. Ready to fire. It's the knee that he needs to do versus those punches. I should tie to the right hand coming in. Coming off the ring now is Gashi. Body shot kind of lowered the right hand of Chastain. Yeah, he could be in trouble here. He's holding his breath right now. And now Gashi throwing some more shots to the midsection. Shenzhen August 25th, then to the Windy City of Chicago in September, and we cap it off in a huge arena show, the Johan Cruyff Soccer Arena, September 29th. That card expected to be headlined by a World Heavyweight Championship bout, of course, involving Rico Berhu. Let's take a look at some of the work of Gashi in this round. Really good pressure fighting, and then he finally found the body here. He was able to mix levels, stay inside, Closing moments of the round. Gashi putting a lot of pressure with his boxing. He keeps slugging and clubbing with that left hand. Round three here. Can Gashi get his second knockout in glory? That's what the crowd wants. That's what they pay to see. Right, let go of the rope. Let go of the rope. Clean, nice and clean. Hands up. Box. Oh, right hand there for Chastain snaps Gashi's head back. But Gashi will take one to give one, that's for sure. And if Chastain's going to use his boxing, it feels best if he does it as a counter. Let Gashi unload his punches, and then once he feels Gashi is done, that's when he needs to follow up with his punches. Right! Another on Come on, guys, love that. Nice Strikes and clean. landed. Look at the punches go. for Gashi, Boop. but kicks for Chastain almost double. Yeah, those, a lot of those are happening in the first right. round. Okay, okay. now you both get down, for clinching. When you Gashi's clinch, you got to work. You hear me? Let's go. Chastain. 
Alex Gashi's basic style looking right now, according to Chastine. Well, it's, it's looking good because he's getting on the inside. Work, work. But Chastine is still doing a good job at making it a little harder for Gashi to let any of his power shots go. From his length, but every time Gashi hits, you see that Chastine's body shakes. Gashi throws the left kick. You got a decision to make. Do I block the head like Chastine did there, or do I block the rib cage? Chastain has a good Muay Thai style block. He brings his knees to his elbow so you can block the body kick and the head kick at the same time. Break! Box. Chastain began kickboxing at the age of nine. By the time he was 12, he already had 12 victories in the sport. He's been doing this a long time, 20 years to be exact. And he even has 25 amateur fights as well. Less than a minute to go. Chastine needs to find something here. Work, work, work. Again, 30 seconds to go, and ends that exchange with a knee. Yeah, I'm surprised Gashi hasn't gone to attack in the body, especially when he's inside with his punches. Four. All right, break. Clean, nice and clean. Hands up, hands up. Four. Four. gets the win he deserves. Yeah, definitely. He definitely gets the decision in my eyes. Good forward pressure, good landing of the left hand. Hurt Chastain a few times in the fight. Chastain, credit to him for going three rounds with one of the toughest guys in all of glory. The decision when we return. We welcome you back here to New York City. There's Tim Hughes in his tuxedo, get some camera time. But it was all about Elvis Gashi over three rounds. Joe, he didn't get the knockout, but dominated pretty much. Yeah, first round, good pressure from Gashi. Oh, and Chastain was, did a better job at moving around, using his long kicks, trying to tap the legs and the body, but landed some good punches in the exchange. But ultimately, it was a lot of good forward pressure from Gashi here. He almost had Chastain hurt with that body shot. Chastain was really holding on. You can see, me, see him dropping his elbow, protecting the body, holding his breath. Gosh, he couldn't get the finish, but you see how tough Chastain is to just keep coming forward and trying to get inside to get as many punches in as possible. And round three was the same kind of fight, but Gashi again continuing to press forward and most likely getting the decision. Here's our final strike statistics. Elvis Gashi threw 105 punches over double when Chastine threw, landed 56 of them. Chastine with more kicks landed, but overall, total strikes not even close. Looking at the strikes by zone, no surprise it was Gashi really head hunting with that left hand. And again, body very similar, but still Gashi dominating in most of them except the leg attacks. Tim Hughes now with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judge's scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. One judge scores it 29-28. The two remaining judges see it and score it the same 30-27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner. And still undefeated, Elvis Gashi. to the delight of this crowd here in New York. Gashi remains perfect, not only in glory, but overall, no one has beaten Super Gashi. Whitney Miller now with the winner. Elvis, congratulations. You're still undefeated and here at MSG. You have tons of fans in the building. What's going through your mind Come right on, now? Come on, where's my people? Get up, everyone, make some noise, let's go. Well, I use some noise. Thank you guys, thank you for coming and support me. I love you guys, thank you. We keep going undefeated hard. I promise we're gonna get that title, I promise we're bringing it to New York.
Is that next? Do you want a title shot next? I'm ready. Give me the title shot. Tonight it didn't was my best performance, but I'll come better and stronger. I promise you guys. I'll come stronger. Well, tonight... Give me that title shot. Come on, I'm ready. Tonight you're the king of New York. Give it up one more time for Elvis Gashi, New York. He wasn't satisfied with his performance show. What did you make of what he did? Well, I don't think it was his best performance, but I think that was partly because of Nick Chastain's style. Very long, very awkward on the inside. But again, he got the win. He did what he had to do. Um, I mean, he just keeps getting better and he keeps winning. So as long as he wins, we got to keep moving him up the ranks.